Welcome, Draco fans, to Draco the Ancient Gates Glitch Tutorial, Episode 12. Let me show you what happens when you go into the catacombs before you enter the Shadowmire. Now, where is just sad? For some odd reason, he doesn't render when you go into the catacombs and come back out. What is it you want, Jassad? Your parlor tricks grow stale. You mean this puff of smoke? Yeah, I can understand why parlor tricks grow stale when you just send smoke springs up in the sky. You seem awfully fascinated by it. Our future is not yours to decide. If future is decided by mere smog and pollution. Yep, we're going there, people. You offer us slavery, Jassad. Yes, yes, you're being enslaved by pollution. Makes kind of sense in a firm gully lo logic. <laughs> Ugh, it's just her speaking to nothing. That's just hilarious. Did I miss something? Who is that up in the sky? That was a puff of smoke. Apparently, Mashal has failed all of her sanity checks. Did you find the room? Of course. Of course. Here. Yeah, let's forget the entire fact that Lady Mashal has basically has lost her mind. Excellent work, Rin. Yep, excellent work indeed. And since Michelle has lost her mind, can we really trust her with opening the gates? Ara, Zola, Rin? I figured as much. So what we're going to do here is actually bypass the cutscene we just saw and go see Zola and Arak. What we do here is drop right down here, and then we're going to do a running jump right there all right careful not to go up straight up here because i'll just trigger the cutscene just do a side flip here and then just run up here yeah and then you just bypass the cutscene i just kind of love how they make it so easy sometimes now you can an interact with Zola. Michelle and a little to too answer. close there, buddy. Yeah. By doing this, you just he will talk to you dark. with a crotch shot. I... Yeah, the omens are dark. For a different reason than what you're talking about. Keep your distance, please. As for Arok, you can't actually ride him. Apparently, he's like he's rendered as an... an uh, an AI uh, character, so you can't ride him until you activate the cutscene. But, sure, you may not be able to interact with them, but you can cut at them. Stab, stab, stabby, stab. Cut, and finish. Yeah, and you can just kill yourself. <laughs> and he'll just. Rah! It's like, watch where you stick that. Watch where you stick that indeed. So what we're going to do here is activate the uh, the Blackwing Dragon that we kind of promised to do in the last first episode. So there he is. We're going to go ahead and kill him for our experience. Thank you, Anarisma, for such a fine little glitch right there to slide down and bypass that. Now we got back here and earned ourselves some experience. Now we're going to get Arak involved in some of the cutscenes with the uh, Grawl. Land him about right here. I think move him right about that close. Maybe back up a little bit. Okay. And um, so we're going to go ahead and activate the cutscene and just see what happens. Back you up, boss! Is 
Is that so? Is that so? <laughs> they just <laughs> stood right back up. So I guess that means you get nothing, doesn't it? You lie! Oh, you lie! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just priceless. And then, of course, all of them are basically at one hell, so we're going to just go ahead and use our rock to just burn them all down. Hey, get back here. Burn you, and then come in through the fire and burn you. So yeah, <laughs> that's it for that part of the cutscene. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and uh, load back and and uh, do the other save. Uh, see what we can. Other cutscene. We're gonna have Arak actually while Rin is on him while land while staying on the ground and see uh, what happens in that cutscene. But gosh, that was perfect. I mean, he just jumps out and just laughs and then dies. And then you got the two guys going to back him up and they both get sniped at. That was awesome. All right, so gonna have Auric land over here just so the cutscene activates relatively uh, close. Um, have our rock be relatively close to where the actual cutscene, so we actually kind of get a good view of what's going on. So there we go. <laughs> so you see, Rand has her arms extended down. It kind of changes based on what her position in the cutscene is supposed to be like. Is that so? Is that so? Everybody know. You pay now. I don't have You can see she has her arms so crossed. You get nothing. It and yeah, you can move Arak around in the cutscene, just twirling man. him around left and right. You can't really move forward or back. Take your height. But Rincher sure has kind of a funny way of going. See, she has her arms crossed, so. Uh, so as long as you stay on the ground or, or don't dismount, she's good. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm all that. Really, this is no big deal. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and load to the other save and do the cutscene. See right there? She just reverted back to her arm. So we're gonna do it one more time. So. Alright, and this third encounter... We're gonna have Arak fly. Yeah, I heard you guys are a cowardly bunch, but apparently a flying dragon you won't shy away from asking for a toll. Road belonged to Olak. Olak no say you use. Now you pay Olak fine. All your gold. Is that Did you say something? My act of flying is having me completely ignore you in the entire conversation. So I guess that means you get nothing. Doesn't it? Yep, I'm just gonna fly over here. I'll turn around and then fly in the other direction. Woohoo! Yeah, I'll just completely ignore the fact that you guys are even there. So, yeah. Kind of a nice little fun thing to do with the cutscene. To finish things off, we're going to put out the flame on the flame strike. Now, we need to be in the basement where the guy gives you the quest to kill the spiders in his basement. Now we just need to attack the wall and we can, uh, there we go, turn off the, uh, put out the flame on the flame strike. Even though it's no longer engulfed, uh, we can still set things on fire. Kind of reminds me of uh, Makoto Shishio's Mugenjin from Samurai X. But to uh, get it back on, just de-equip it and re-equip it. Now some walls are stubborn, so to make sure to put it out, just do a back back triangle, wait, back back square to put it out. But yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you all next episode.